If you choose to tolerate it and go along with it, just know that if it bites you in the ass later on, it's probably your fault. Okay, so the next one is a controversial one and it's whether or not men and women can be friends. The answer, in my opinion, is a categorical no. I apologize. If you're angry, get angry. <coughs> I can probably hear it through the camera right now. <coughs> there are probably people who disagree with me and they think that I'm wrong. <coughs> And that's fine. If you disagree with me, then I will simply ask you this question. Does your mother have a male friend that she goes out with one-on-one -on -one without your dad there? The answer is probably no. Does your dad have a female friend that he goes and sees one-on-one -on -one without your mum there? Probably not. I'm going to ask you again. Do your parents have any friends of the opposite sex that they go and see one-on-one? -on -one? I didn't think so. Now, am I saying that there are no exceptions whatsoever? No, of course there's exceptions. There are probably a handful of cases where there are actual exceptions to this rule and you have true platonic friendship between men and women. However, in my experience, those are definitely exceptions and not the rule. 99% of the time, it's not the case. In my past experiences, a male friend of a partner has been a red flag 99.99999% of the time. So I think you should look out for that. For the majority of cases, especially if the girl is attractive, her male friends are just guys who are waiting their turn. It's funny because I spent five years living in Greece and there's actually a term for this exact phenomenon and it's called gavadze which means like a backup plan or something, but it's only used really in this context of more often than not a female having male friends who are just backup options waiting their turn when the guy she's currently dating inevitably makes a mistake and then they can swoop in. But the funny thing is that in the majority of these cases, the female knows it as well. She knows that those guys are interested. The funny thing is if you really think about it, what can the female get from her male friends that she can't get from you? The answer is there is actually something that she can get from them that she can't get from you and that is they can tell her to break up with you. That's really the only thing. So in my experience, 99% of the time, it's a red flag. You should be careful. I know it's going to upset some people, but I think those people are going to live life and you know go through experiences and then they'll realize after, after all of this that I'm actually right. Now, the actionable steps that you can take from this as someone watching the video is this may be one of those situations where you need to apply the principle of being willing to walk away. And if you're not willing to walk away and you're willing to tolerate something like this, then just know that if I'm not saying it's going to end badly, all I'm saying is if you know that this is the case, that this girl you're seeing has various male friends she sees one on one at whatever at certain times, if this bites you in the ass and you made the decision to tolerate and go along with it, then any pain that you incur as a result of this is your fault because you decided to go along with it knowing the potential risks and knowing how much of a red flag it is. And I can all but guarantee that as soon as any hiccups inevitably come in the relationship because every relationship has problems, every relationship has hiccups, it's about how you solve them, you can bet that if there's ever a hiccup and your partner goes to her friends of the opposite sex and, and asks them for advice, it's pretty safe bet to say that they won't be telling her to stay with you. They'll just be saying, break up with him, blah, 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 blah. So be willing to walk away, be aware of the red flag. If you choose to tolerate it and go along with it, just know that if it bites you in the ass later on, it's probably your fault. If it subconsciously bothers you, or if you have a gut instinct that something is wrong, you should listen to it. Every time in the past when I've had gut instincts that something was wrong, those gut instincts turned out to be correct. Every single time. It is what it is. Men and women are different. I'm not saying better or worse. I'm just saying different. Actually, I even said that women are born with all their value and men are starting with a value of zero. That's true. So I'm saying women are more valuable than men, if anything, if you're trying to cancel me. Anyway, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much. If you've stuck around this far, I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you like the video, please, it would give me such a big boost. If you're able to like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. I'm also going to put the link to my personal Instagram and my fitness coaching Instagram on the screen right now for you guys. I'm really going to double down on the self-improvement content on this channel because I really think it's what needs to be heard by the younger generation of men. I know I'm not the only one doing it, but I feel like I can add to this space on the internet and in general. And I don't want to see the potential of not only myself, but other people wasted if they could have had a bit more guidance. So guys, I'll leave you with this. In a world that tries to tear men down, build yourself up, create your value and watch reality bend to your will. If you're a man who's fighting for himself, then I'm in your corner. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.